light of where the world is and the paucity of resources, that the little we are now getting should be put to greater use for the benefit of our people. And it all starts from procurement. So if you buy something, a computer for instance, which ordinarily you could afford for 200,000 naira, and you go and buy it for 400,000, what it means that instead of having two computers, you have one. Right? And it slows down your progress and development as a state. So for us, procurement is very, very key, particularly for those of us states that don't have too much resources, financial resources coming in. So the little we have, we want to make sure it goes a long way in helping our, in our, our development efforts. We are fortunate that we started emphasizing in procurement and subsequently in procurement a long time ago. We've had, as, as, as I'm sure they'll tell you, we'll have one of the oldest you know, in procurement units in the country because about 12 years ago, really, we had the privilege of going to the World Bank to seek for a budget support facility. And that was when you know, it was made, um, it was emphasized to us that we had to have a strong procurement unit. Because nobody wants to give you money if they're not sure that even what you have, you're spending it properly. Uh, so whether you're going to go to the market to raise money, uh, whether you are going to, uh, even for the what you have, it's important that you have a system where you procure properly. Um, at the heart of, I mean, we've moved on from the very manual process to now one where we are using technology to facilitate the procurement process.